Imagine this, you're floating somewhere in the universe and your mission is to find Earth. Sounds easy, right? It's not. It's almost impossible. First, you'd have to spot the Milky Way galaxy. That's one galaxy out of over 200 billion we've discovered so far. Each galaxy stretches for hundreds of thousands of light years. Good luck picking ours out from the cosmic crowd. But let's say you did, you found the Milky Way. Your next challenge, find the sun. The Milky Way holds around 100 billion stars. And the sun is just one. It doesn't glow in some special find me way. From across the galaxy, it's just another tiny pinprick of light. Now you found our sun, congratulations. But we're still not done. Earth orbits 150 million kilometers away from it. From far away, that's a distance too small to even measure visually. And here's the real kicker. Our planet is 13,000 kilometers across. Compared to the scale of space, that's nothing. It's like trying to find a single grain of sand on every beach on Earth. And just when you think you might spot it, Earth hides behind the glare of its own star. If you look from the wrong angle, you wouldn't see it at all. This is why space telescopes use techniques like the transit method. Catching the faint dip in starlight when a planet crosses in front. Even then, detecting something Earth-sized is rare and incredibly difficult. Now think about this. We're sending out radio signals. We're sending out probes like Voyager with maps pointing to our location. If someone somewhere tried to find us, they'd face the same challenge. It's humbling, isn't it? We live on a world so small, so fragile, yet it holds all the history of life we know. Every memory, every achievement, every dream, all on this single pale blue dot. The scale of the universe isn't just big, it's beyond imagination. And that's exactly why our existence feels so precious. So here's the question. If it's this hard to find us, how many other Earths could be out there? waiting to be found.